Hello everyone, this is Derek Tangredi here um, with Fair Chance Learning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, really excited to walk you through how to create interactive posters, um, dioramas, models, basically anything you really want to create um, using the new Scratch 3.0. Um, so where I'm going to start is just by going to the Scratch website, which can come up if you just Google actually uh, Scratch, you can find it, but the website is scratch.mit.edu. And one of the things that comes up often when we're using this is that you don't even have to have a Scratch account um, and have students sign in. You can just have them use the web and simply go right to creating. But if you wanted to save their work, I would encourage you to join Scratch and then sign in. But if you look in the upper left hand corner, you can simply hit uh, the create block. And when you do that, it's going to open up um, the Scratch uh, page for you to use. So as this opens up here, um, you're just going to see that it's going to start creating our project and we'll be able to do something. So uh, if you're not familiar with Scratch and what all these blocks are, don't worry about it. This is not going to be a full Scratch tutorial, so I'm not going to focus on that part. So I'm just going to close this down uh, just really quickly. Um, just on the far left hand side you'll see all these different um, colored blocks or drawers um, and when you click on each individual one you have different options of block based coding that you can use. Uh, right in the middle we have like our scripts page uh, basically where it's going to tell the story of what's going to happen and then on the far right we have our stage which is basically where all the action happens. Now the first thing we're going to do because we are using Makey Makey is we have to add this as an extension block. So what I would like you to do in the far left hand corner if you scroll over and in the bottom you'll see this little blue box um, with the little addition icon and if you hover over it it says add extension. So if you click on that you will notice all these um, viable extensions that come up. Now a lot of these are amazing and great options to use within uh, your classroom. But for today, we're just going to focus on using Makey Makey. So we are going to click on the Makey Makey extension. And when we do that, you'll notice that um, these blocks come up. And now we've added this Makey Makey extension within Scratch, which is really easy to use. So what I want to do now is the lines of code are not going to be very difficult. So if you are not a programmer and you're a little worried of how this could go, don't be because it is uh, fairly straightforward. So what I'm going to do is I am going to click and drag this when space key is pressed and click and drag this over toward my script page. And I'll blow this up a little bit just so you can see it. So we have when my space key is pressed on my makey makey, I want something to happen. Now based on our tutorials though and what we do, I am going to click this little drop down arrow next to the space and I'm going to change this to up arrow just for now because we normally use the navigational arrows for the first um, four boxes within the interactive posters. So when I press up arrow on my makey makey, I want something to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and uh, drag my sound block and where it says play sound meow until done, the very top one, I'm going to place that right underneath my makey makey block. So just so you can hear it right now, when I hit the up arrow on my keyboard, you hear the meow. Now, while that's all well and good, um, and I know you love hearing those, we actually want to encourage and hear student voice in their projects. So how do we get their voice onto this? So right next to the drop down arrow where it says meow, can you please click on that? And you'll see this option comes up where it says record. So depending if you're using, depending on the device you're using, you'll usually have to allow access to your microphone. Um, and with each device, sometimes you have to do it twice, just depending. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm going to hit record. And you can see as I'm speaking, you get a little toolbar here that tells me that it's working. And I'm going to hit record and just do a little test. Testing, testing, one, two, three and I stop my recording and if I want to I can quickly play this testing testing one two three and if I like it I can save it if I don't like it I can just simply re-record which makes it easy so let's just say I really like this I'm going to hit save and this parts really important 
So now where at the very top it says sound and recording one, I like to title mine box one. And if you follow along with um, some of the work, I, I speak to why I do this, just making it easier for students. And then my subsequent box would be box two, box three, box four, and subsequently. Um, and that is just so that I can actually have a, a linkage to both like the storyboarding uh, that I'm doing before we actually get into like using and incorporating the technology within our practice. So now while I'm on this sounds tab bar, what I want to do is if you move to the left, you'll see costumes and the furthest left, you'll see the code. If you click on the code, it'll take you right back to where we were. But now what I would like you to do is instead of where that little drop down arrow for the play sound meow is, I want you to select that and you'll notice this option of box one comes up. So now you hit box one. So now whenever I hit up arrow using my makey makey, testing, testing, one, two, three, and you've got it. So now we just repeat this process over and over. So I'll just show you again really quick, how would I do this again? So you only really need two blocks of code and you just keep re, um, remixing this pattern. So if I was gonna do this for the another box, let's click on the makey makey blocks. Just on the left hand side, you'll see the picture of the makey makey. And you take the when space key is pressed, but now we've already used up arrow, so the second option I always use is normally right arrow. So now I clicked the arrow down from the space bar and hit right arrow. And then all I'm going to do, and I usually tell people to like look for the colors, that really helps, is I click on my sound block again. And where it says play sound meow until done, just like we did previously, I click on my little drop down arrow. And you'll see that I have meow box one or I can record again. So this time I just record quickly. Awesome work, everyone. Stop. And option to re-record or save. So I save. And instead of calling this recording one, I call the last one box one. And you'll see it just uh, hovering right there. I'm going to change this to box two. And when I toggle back to my code on the left, instead of the meow option I have here, I'm going to select box two. Hope that makes sense. Um, for those ones so far, now there is a quicker way to do this. If we want to talk about efficiency, I can also simply click on one of these. Like, awesome blocks. work, everyone. I can simply click on one of these and right click and hit duplicate. And then what happens is I get my set of blocks and all I have to do now is change um, right arrow to something I haven't used. So I can do left arrow and now I could just quickly record again. So by the time I'm done, what I should end up having is four of them and I'll just do it really quickly. So it looks something like this. So I'd have box one, box two, and then I would make a new box three and box four. Um, and then make sure that your makey makey is plugged in and each time you hit a given arrow, whatever the students want to speak in the given box, that's what's going to come out. I hope this is really helpful, but please uh, feel free to either uh, tweet me, email me if you have additional questions. I'm always happy to help. Uh, thanks so much for listening.